Well, let's talk about uh, um, the criminal justice system for a second. There's been a movement across the country to decriminalize marijuana. There was a move to do that in Ohio that was defeated, and you supported the defeat of the measure yeah. to legalize marijuana right. in your state. Why do you think we still need to keep pot illegal? Well, look, the problem is we have a huge drug crisis in this country. I was just in... But is uh, that really pot is the drug no, crisis? No, no, no. Lots no, of people are going to jail no, for minor look, look, infractions and it ruins their we, entire life. We don't do that in Ohio, okay? We don't want to stick people who... We don't even want serious drug addicts to be locked in prison for the rest of their life. We treat them. We pass them off to the community. And the recidivism rate in our prisons in Ohio for the drug addicted is less than 20 percent. And we also have said that we, if a person's rehabbing themselves, we want to give them a chance to get out and be successful. The problem with marijuana is this. We don't want to tell our kids, don't do drugs, but by the way, this drug's okay. Let me tell Isn't you. Isn't that what alcohol is? Isn't that? Yeah, well, look, look, for the people, and I, I can understand, look, let me just tell you, you, you wouldn't believe how many people, just in Mississippi the other day, I was with a man, he's a very well-educated, very successful. His 21-year-old son took his, own, took his life because he was addicted to drugs and didn't know how to climb out of it. I meet people everywhere in Ohio, and we're fighting it. We're educating people in the schools. Uh, we are in a position of being rehabbing people. But Stephen, this is a, this is kind of a curse, this whole drug, and I'm talking about the Oxycontin, I'm talking about the heroin, and now heroin's not even strong enough now they're lacing it with a drug called fentanyl that they give to people as they're in the last stages of their life who, who have cancer. I mean, I, I want to be clear, a, I'm not arguing for, you know, legalizing heroin. No, 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 I know that. But look, all I'm saying to you is I tell kids, my daughters, I say, girls, just please don't do drugs, okay? Mm -hmm. We go around to the schools and tell kids, please don't do drugs. But to legalize marijuana, and I'm not all hung up about marijuana, okay? I'm just saying to you that we don't need to take the approach where we send a confusing and mixed message to our children. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think it makes sense. Did you now, ever smoke marijuana? Yes. You did? Yes. Did, were you caught smoking marijuana? By who? The police. No, I never <laughs> was. If you had been caught smoking marijuana and had it on your record, would you be the governor of Ohio right now? Maybe, if I got you to come out and campaign for me. But here's the thing, Stephen. I'm not you know wanting. What I mean, I, yeah, I what I mean no, is that it ruins a life to have that police record because you can't get look, a job. We don't want to put people in prison or give them. But it, let me let me explain. Let me explain. Look, I I went to school in the 70s. Okay, I'm just suggesting to you now. I have never seen this drug problem as rampant as it is, and I don't want to ruin anybody's life. In fact, you know, in our state, if you were a, a nonviolent felon. We're giving you a chance to get that expunged. We don't want to ruin anybody's life you can. on you drugs. Can, you can yes. have expunged record. That's great. Yeah. No. So That's we great. don't. What we don't want to do is we don't want to be in a position to demonize people. I just don't want to legalize legalize drugs. Now, when it comes to medical marijuana, when if the experts come back and say we need this for people mm -hmm. who have seizures, I'm for that.